just waiting for the bells. take a moment to prepare our hearts and minds for worship with this instrumental opening piece. Gracious God, whose incarnate love, Jesus, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of embodied love, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gave us the pledge of eternal life, and how, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you'll never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. And Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Savior. Praise to you, Lord Christ. After Jesus had washed the feet of his friends, he said to them, do you know what I, your friend, have done to you? I've given you an example that you should do as I have done. Peace is my last gift to you. My own peace I now leave with you. 
peace which the world cannot give, I give to you. And so if you have your bar of soap, it's time to hold it up. And so we begin by washing. As we were washed in our baptism, we clean our hands as we were cleansed in the waters of new birth. We do this not because we are afraid, but because we were commanded to love and to cleanse our hands and gather in spirit as how we love the vulnerable whom Jesus loved. May we be instruments of love. May the sacrifices we make be for the good of all hu our human family near and far. Amen. Amen. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Peace. Is my last gift to you. My own peace I leave with you. Peace which the world cannot give, I give to you. By this shall the world know that you are my disciples, that you have love for one another. Blessed be the one, holy and living God. And Blessed be God's Lord. reign now and forever. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie. Eleison, Kyrie, Eleison. May God be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose dear Son, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us the pledge of eternal life, and who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat it. This is how you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. What follows next is the psalm, Bless the Lord my soul, and we will join together in singing this along with the recorded piece.
reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks Please be to God. God. Please stand for the sequence hymn in the gospel. Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When the hour came, he took his place at the table, and the apostle with him, he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that for now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my name. But see, the one who betrays me is with me and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but woe to that one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another, which one of them it could be who would do this? A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But he said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater? the one who is at the table or the one who serve. It is not the one at the table, 
but I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Identity. That's what we've been reflecting on. Who are we? Who am I? And I don't just mean who am I, like Terry, the priest, wife, mom, daughter, sister, friend, but who am I at my core? What is it that I think and I believe and I value? And how do I live my life? Who am I? And who are you? And the question we've been asking for a long time is who is God and who is Jesus? We've been reflecting on that really intentionally in the last several months. And so during this holiest of weeks in the Christian year, reflecting on who we are and whose we are is what is at stake. Who are we? Whose are we? And this week in particular, filled with holy days designated for contemplation, actually this time begins on another day. It begins on Christmas with the incarnation. The incarnation is the beginning of the embodiment of God into the world. And so the celebration that we have today actually begins with Christmas. And so it's that because all together it tells us the Christian story of who we are and whose we are and who God is and who Jesus is and how they interact with all of creation. And the story is important. It lays the foundation for our identity as the body of Christ and more specifically who we are as Christ Church right here, right now, today in Dearborn, Michigan in 2022. Today's segment of the story tells us two important things about Jesus and what he valued. He valued his relationships with people, and he valued society, a society that treated all people equally. And I've, I've never been particularly taken by the, the Christian concept of servant ministry. Jesus talks about it a lot, but I think the way we've interpreted what Jesus was talking about gives us this idea that Jesus was trying to reinforce perhaps this idea of submission, this idea that some are better than others and therefore we should lower ourselves to once in a while, once in a while to care for people. But I don't think that's what Jesus was actually doing, at least not in my estimation. I think he was not posturing himself from some position of superiority to a position of inferiority. I think he was talking about a constant state of being, that the washing of feet, for example, had a different intention. He was caring for his disciples, like Mary had cared for him a few days earlier when she anointed his feet or his head, depending on which version you read, and caring for him. He was being kind, he was caring, he was showing compassion. A reflection of his nature, this nature of him and his compassion is revealed again in the meal, in the sharing of bread and wine. And all of this was a gift to the disciples because he says, I am with you always. Whenever you care for others, you care for me. Whenever you care for others, I am with you. This is the position that many of us have taken for nearly three years during COVID as we have cared for others by washing our hands, wearing face masks, maintaining physical distance, which is also why we, we blessed and shared soap today because this has been our reality for the last three years. And it's a nice way to mark the occasion. Jesus reminds us that every time we care for someone else, it's as if we are caring for Jesus. And it's about compassion. So compassion has been one of the major things we've talked about as we've reflected on the artwork of Vincent van Gogh. Because for him, painting was an act of compassion, a source of consolation for people to console people as they would perhaps view his paintings. And so we considered this today for Monday, Thursday, the piece of artwork that was sent our way and that we'll look at again in a moment is called Cafe Terrace at Night. 
It's the painting for Monday, Thursday. And it depicts, in Van Gogh's mind, it was depicting, we think, something about his idea of the Last Supper as it was in 1890. He painted this in the late 1800s, shortly before his death. And this painting is one of three paintings that he painted of starry nights. So we saw one of them on Sunday for Palm Sunday. We see another one of them today. And it offers a glimpse of heaven on earth. And if you look at the painting and you assess it, you can see there are different people in there. People think that some of them, one person kind of portrays Judas off in the distance and leaving. Other people gathered around some food. For, so they, they really think that this is kind of a depiction of the Last Supper. Or simply said, it's a depiction of the way that God's love shines through creation and through every act of love and compassion, something that Van Gogh was very deeply invested in as he studied and painted people in the ordinary, people eating potatoes. I just love that that's such an ordinary thing that he was working with. And so today, tonight, and tomorrow, we are invited to pray with Jesus to contemplate the way that God's love is revealed in and through each of us and how we care for others. You can spend an hour tonight either in the chapel, in person, live, praying in our Garden of Gethsemane, or with the video, the link to the video we sent out to you early this evening. You can spend an hour with that video or whatever length of time you wish with that video. And stay awake with Jesus and offer prayers. The prayers, there's a particular prayer that came to us from the SALT project, which is the origin of our meditation from Van Gogh. And the SALT, the prayer for today goes like this. God of love and grace, help us to love each other as you have loved us. Make our love more simple, more touchable, more visible, more real. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And now we'll listen to a little bit of music and watch and look at the slides with the images of the painting. For those who lead and guide the Church of Christ, for loving care, we pray to you, O Lord. God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God, God of, of your, your people, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For faithful witness, fellowship in love, for living hope, we pray. For those who guide the nations of the earth, that wisdom reign, we pray to you, O Lord.
God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God, God of our people, people, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who seek and serve the common good, that justice reign, we pray to you. For neighbors need, for shelter from the storm, for homes of peace, we pray to you, O Lord. God ever faithful, God, God ever, ever merciful, merciful God, God of, of your, your people, people, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in sorrow, anguish, and despair, that they find hope, we pray to you. For those oppressed, for those who live in fear, that they may be freed, we pray to you, O Lord. God ever faithful, God, God ever, ever merciful, merciful, God, God of ever your people, people hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the sick, the dying, and the dead, be life and grace, we pray to you. That we may li might live in peace from day to day, that wars will cease, we pray to you, O Lord. God ever faithful, God, God ever merciful, merciful. God, God of, of your, your people, people, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may stay faithful, open to your word, your kingdom come, we pray to you. For all the dreams held deep within our hearts, for all our needs, we pray to you. Entrust in all, we are into your hands. We call your name and pray to you, O Lord. God ever faithful, God, God ever, ever merciful, merciful. God, God, God of, of your, your people, people, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us, let us confess our sins to God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let's walk in love as Christ loved us. Thank you.
May God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the God. Let us give thanks to, the, to our Creator God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right to glorify you, Holy One, and to give you thanks. For you alone are God, living and true, dwelling in light and accessible from before time and forever. Fountain of life and source of all goodness, you made all things and filled them with your blessing. You create them to, to rejoice in the splendor of your radiance. Countless throngs of angels stand before you to serve you night and day. And beholding the glory of your presence, they offer you unceasing praise. Joining with them and giving voice to every creature under heaven, we acclaim you and glorify your name as we say. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and might. might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We acclaim you, holy God, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care so that in obedience to you, our creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy, you came to our help, so that in seeking you, we might find you. Again and again, you called us into covenant with you, and through the prophets, you taught us to hope for salvation. Holy God, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time you sent your only Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Jesus lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. To the sorrowful, joy. To fulfill your purpose, Jesus gave himself up to death, and rising from the grave destroyed death and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for Christ who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit, your own first gift for those who believe, to complete your work in the world and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, his heavenly Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with him, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he, said, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Almighty God, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and his ascent among the dead, proclaiming Christ's resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting Christ's coming in glory and offering to you from the gifts you've given us this bread and this cup. We praise you and we bless you. We praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we, we give thanks, thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. God, our Creator, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be the holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and cup may become one body and one spirit, living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. And grant that we may find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with matriarchs, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all the saints who found favor with you in ages past. 
We praise you in union with him and give you glory through Jesus Christ, our Savior, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. All honor and glory are yours, almighty God and Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Now for those who are worshiping with us on Zoom and Facebook Live, let us pray. And you know God with your faithful people at every altar of your church where the Holy Eucharist is now being celebrated, we desire to offer to you praise and thanksgiving. Since we cannot receive you today in the sacrament of your body and blood, we beseech you to come spiritually into our hearts, cleanse and strengthen us with your grace, Lord Jesus. Let us never be separated from you. May we live in you and you in us in this life and the life to come. Amen. Amen. Abana in heaven, hallowed be your holy name, your kingdom come, your will be done in all the earth as in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done in all the earth as in heaven. And give to us, give us this day our daily bread, O oh Lord, we pray. Forgive our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And save us in time of trial. Deliver us from evil. Yours is the kingdom, yours the power, yours is the glory, now and ever, a banner in heaven. Oh.
Let us pray. Eternal God, you have graciously accepted us as living, as living members, members of, of our Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. And, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with the gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Savior. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with us today. Thank you for the beautiful music, Manuela. It was lovely. Service continues tomorrow at noon.